Today on January 31st, 2011, Equality Maryland and Citizens held a Stories at the State House, Why Equality Matters Day, at the steps of the Maryland State Capitol Building and at the foot of the Thurgood Marshall Memorial. Citizens lined up, organized, and broke off into groups organized by district in an effort to lobby their state representatives and senators to get their support for two bills that are pending. One bill will legalize same-sex marriages in Maryland, and the other will prohibit discrimination in employment, housing, and other areas based on sexual orientation. Um, our goal is to talk to senators and delegates about the marriage and the equality bill and also anti-discrimination with gender identity. So we're down here, we're having a little rally first of all, and then we're going to go in and actually speak. Um, basically um, a legislative action day where we get to talk to legislators one-on-one -on -one and explain to them um, why we're here and then also thank them for their support or if they are not supportive, we want to talk to them about being supportive for both initiatives. Yes, we have SB 116 and uh, we're focusing on marriage equality. We'd like to have marriage for same-sex couples passed in Maryland and also a gender identity anti-discrimination bill that will cover housing and jobs and um, employment. So basically we want to see that all Marylanders are treated fairly in Maryland. Oh, okay. Are you planning to see your state representatives, your state uh, uh, senators, or both? Yes, both. Both? Yes, oh, okay. delegates and senators. My name is Camille, and I'm in sixth grade at Eastern Middle School. I'm 12 years old, and I'm here because I have two moms, and I believe that they should have the right to marry. Um, I wrote a speech for my sixth grade class. Um, it was about my dream for America, and my dream was for... Um, Gay and lesbian couples to have the right to marry anywhere, um, wherever they live, no matter of anything. What do you hope will happen? Oh, I hope that um, that they'll they're gonna pass the bill, uh, the marriage equality, the marriage equality bill, because it'd be kind of nice to have my mom's marry and have a big wedding, because we had one in Europe, but we can't have one here, so. Uh, so I'm Virginia. Uh, I'm here to support the rights for everyone to be married to the person they'd like to marry uh, and to get the legal rights that go along with that. That's right, they have an evening session, so uh, we'll arrange to meet with uh, our individual uh, delegates and senator as they're available. Excellent. Um, my name is Morgan Vanessa Sheets, and I'm with Equality Maryland. And we are here at the state capitol tonight uh, pushing for two very important issues. We want to make sure that loving and committed couples in Maryland, uh, gay and lesbian couples, have the same access to rights and protections as all other families. Um, we are also working to make sure that transgender Marylanders are not unfairly fired or denied housing simply because of who they are. Um, we have big, big fights here and a lot at stake this year. Um, so folks are turning out, standing out in the cold, and then heading in to meet with their legislators because that's how important it is to make their voices heard so we can make real change this year. And I understand they're having an evening session tonight. There's two pieces of legislation you're concerned about. Well, tonight is their, their Monday session that they have every week. And so we have two bills that will be moving through this session. Um, they're not being heard tonight. These are actually going to be individual meetings. Groups are going into meeting with their legislators to help build support before we have the hearings and before we have the votes. So right from the very beginning, we can show how many people are standing with us and who will be with us through this whole battle. Okay. And what do you urge Marylanders to do? Um, I would urge every Marylander who cares about fairness, who cares about preventing discrimination, to pick up the phone and call their legislators. You can actually find out who represents you online on MD Elect, and that will tell you who to call. Leave them a message. Don't call once, call twice, call ten times. Send an email, send a fax, get your friends, and absolutely join us on Valentine's Day, February 14th, back here on Lawyers Mall in Annapolis for our annual large, huge lobby day. It's an event, it's a celebration, and this year it's taking the fight right here to Annapolis.
Um, so you guys are down here for the uh, Maryland Evening Assembly tonight. Yes, we're very excited, actually. Today is one of our two lobby days here in Annapolis, today, January 31st, and our next one is going to be February 14th. We are so excited and so pleased to have so much support out here, and we're going to go in there and talk to some of our elected officials and make sure that they're standing on the side of equality for all of Maryland's residents. So you guys are kind of being free, uh, um, uh, trying to get in front of the, the bills and make sure there's support behind it when, before it gets to the floor? Absolutely, and I'm sorry I didn't introduce myself. I'm Daryl Carrington. I'm on the Board of Directors with Equality Maryland, but I'm actually here today representing the Maryland Black Family Alliance, which I'm also a founding member of. We are excited to get people in front of the legislators so they can actually put a face with the bill that we have. Many times, uh, many of our families are invisible to some of our lawmakers. We want to make sure they realize that there are a lot of human faces that go into this bill. There are a lot of children that need the legal protections that marriage gives their parents. And we want to make sure that as we're talking with our elected officials that they understand that, um, that this is all about fairness, equality, and justice, and actually standing here right in, at Thurlong, good Thurlong, good Thurlong, good Thurlong, good Thurlong, good Thurlong, good standing here at the tribute to him and looking on the, on the ground here, and it talks about Plessy versus Ferguson, separate but equal. Well, there's been a notion of raising civil unions, but we all know that those are separate and not equal, and we want equal protections for all of Maryland citizens. We want equal protections for all of our citizens across the country, but right now we're in Maryland. We're going to get this done here, and if anybody is watching this and wants to come into Maryland and help us get across the finish line, please come in, let's get involved, and let's get this done together. And what's your website people should go to to kind of get involved? Uh, they can go to www.equalitymaryland.org. Well, welcome so much. Actually, while we are standing here right now, um, there are already people over in the House building and over in the Senate building in meetings with their legislators. So we are already making our voices heard, uh, which is fantastic. Yay! Um, but welcome officially. My name is Morgan Vanessa Sheets, and I'm the director of Equality Maryland. Um, which just means that I get to spend time with wonderful people like you every day um, as we work for fairness and justice here in the Free State. Uh, and thank you so much for being part of that work. Um, this year, the stakes are even higher, and that's because the opportunities are even greater. So while we are shivering, we are shivering for a just cause, um, and we are shivering towards a victory. Uh, so thank you. We have two incredibly important pieces of legislation. Um, we are making sure that transgender Marylanders are not unfairly fired or denied housing simply because of who they are. And we are making sure that loving and committed gay and lesbian couples are given the same rights and respect and protections as every other family. And, you know, just on a, a personal note, you know, that particular piece of legislation has taken on an even, you know, stronger, uh, compelling reason for me as my wife, who's shivering over here to the left, and I uh, actually welcomed our first child this year. Thank you. She's encased in her stroller with her grampy around here somewhere. She's like a, a little uh, abominable snowman. She's all wrapped up like we would like to be, like the kid from the Christmas story. Um, Anyway, so maybe that might be what I wear to the uh, next lobby event, actually. Uh, it will be very attractive. But anyway, we all have those personal stories. You know, whether it's that you do have a child at home, or whether it's that you were lucky enough to find that fantastic, amazing person you want to spend your life with, or that you are transgender and you have been discriminated against, or you have a friend who is gay or lesbian or transgender. Whatever it is, we all have that personal piece that keeps us going in the cold keeps us going when we haven't won every year, it keeps us going when it has taken a long time to get here. And I hope whatever it is that brings you here tonight, that you will hold on to that throughout this fight. Um, because we do have a lot of opportunities, but we're going to have to keep working. So I say thank you for being here tonight, and thank you in advance, because we need you to keep coming back. We need you to come back on February 8th, when the marriage bill is going to be heard in the Senate. We need you to come back when we get a hearing for the gender identity bill. We need you to come back on February 14th. I've been calling it a hot date with Equality Maryland on Valentine's Day um, for our annual lobby day. There'll be even more gorgeous faces huddled together, body heat and all, 
um, on Valentine's Day, celebrating love um, and celebrating justice. And we hope you'll be here with us on that. Um, I have a few friends up here who uh, we've all said will make short remarks this cold, but that I do want to just uh, have say a few words. Um, Daryl Carrington with the Maryland Black Family Alliance. Thank you, Morgan. I will keep it brief. I know it's cold out here. I'd like to thank everyone for being here. Um, again, I'm Daryl Carrington. I'm one of the founding members of the Maryland Black Family Alliance, which is a group of folks across a wide variety of business owners, clergy members, and the like, who are trying to make sure that we encourage a black community to support equality, fairness, and justice for all of our citizens. I am very excited to be here with you all today. And at this time, I would like to introduce um, Delegate Jocelyn Pena-Menick, who's also been a um, supporter of this bill since 2007 when we first introduced the marriage bill, and she has pushed for the gender identity anti-discrimination bill. Um, yeah. this Good evening. Oh, come on. Don't pretend you're, I'm from the Dominican Republic. Pretend you're from the islands. Good evening. Nice curves. Okay. Um, thank you so much for coming. I know you're cold, but just it's a state of mind. Get out of your head. It is so worth it to be here. You know, your presence makes a difference. I'm actually the lead sponsor on the transgender bill, the gender identity bill. Um, it is really, honestly, the right thing to do. It really is. Um, I think that it is not difficult to do what's right. Um, I think that as a human being, we shouldn't be judgmental. Um, discrimination is plainly wrong, period, regardless of how you feel. It is not acceptable. As a mother of three, I want to leave a better Maryland for my kids, regardless of, you know, who they are tomorrow. Um, and I think that as a legislator, it is important to sponsor good legislation and to think about that and for that to be the sole motivating on purpose, regardless whether you get elected or not, again in four years, and that's the way I feel about it. I think you need to be present. You need to go to every district and talk to people. You need to come every single time there is a hearing, even if there's five hearings, because if you're not present, guess what? People think you don't care, and they will not vote for it, because they don't think you're going to vote for them. And you have to really let them know that you count, you make a difference, you have friends, and you will remember four years from now. This is the time to do it. The time is ripe. And you know why the time is ripe? Because we're four years away from an election. So for those colleagues to say we can risk it, well, guess what? We need to do it now, okay? Sometimes people have short-term short memory, if that is what they're concerned about. But we need to do it every single year. We have four years. We keep doing it every year until it passes. Persistent pace. Can we do it? Yes! yes. yes. Se puede! Si sí, se puede! Yes, we can. We can do it. And you have my support fully. Thank you for being here. It matters. It makes a difference. I'm going to ask now a, a person whose name I'm a little jealous of. Um, Johnny Action, is, yeah, and that's, that's, that's his name, isn't that fantastic? And I think he's sick of me thinking that's so fantastic, but um, we can all, maybe we can all be so-and-so Action, I'm going to be Morgan Action, Vanessa Sheets from now on, people will think Johnny and I have some risque affair going on. Um, but Johnny Action, uh, representing Progressive Maryland, a fan-fantastic group um, that has long time been a champion of, as the name suggests, progressive values, and is standing strong with us in the fight for justice in marriage equality and gender identity anti-discrimination. Johnny. Thank you, Morgan. I'm going left. Okay. I've, been, I've been told I'm here to, to pump you up to go inside, which I don't think will be necessary at all. Uh, thank you all for coming. Progressive Maryland has, like, uh, like Morgan said, long been a very proud partner with Equality Maryland, and this is what we have set the table for in the last election season. This right here is the beginning, but nothing is going to hurt our cause more than a, a pervasive feeling that this is on its way, the momentum is in our favor, that we just need to ride the wave and we'll have marriage in Maryland by next year. This gumption, coming out in the cold, lobbying your representatives, we need more of it, and thank you all for coming out. I, this, this means a lot to me as well. I'm, I should be married by the end of the year, and I hope that by the time 
I have a chance to say I do, that everyone here will, as, as well, be legally allowed. And speaking of I do, it has been too long lobbying, getting the runaround, getting the, the civil unions, the half marriage, the second class marriage. So when you ask your representative, do you support the same sex marriage bill, what is the only acceptable answer? I do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> not least is Melissa Goman, who is the legislative director for the ACLU of Maryland. And you know, most people definitely, when they think of the ACLU, think of you know the real fighting the good fight. Um, and so I want to welcome Melissa on up. So the ACLU has been involved with all of you for a long time in the struggle for marriage equality and also the struggle against discrimination for transgender individuals. And this is the year we're going to make it happen, both bills. So your support is, is incredible and it's, it's going to do the trick. Um, I'm sure many of you know that discrimination against transgendered individuals just cannot be countenanced any longer. Um, one in five transgendered Marylanders have lost jobs because of their gender identity. 12% have become homeless because of their gender identity. And this can no longer stand. So if 12 states and 100 cities across the country can pass these kind of anti-discrimination laws, then so can we. And if Montgomery County and Baltimore can pass these kinds of anti-discrimination laws, then so can we. So your being here means we are going to make this happen. And thank you very much. We have a big job ahead of us, but we're going to get it done together. We're going to get it done with real conversations, telling our own stories tonight, and we're going to get it done at the hearing, every vote. We're going to send those emails. We're going to make those calls. i got to warn you, we're going to keep asking for help. We're going to keep asking for help now through at least April 11th which is when all these wonderful folks go home back to the district and the legislative session is over. And we might have to keep asking after that if we do have a ballot initiative fight ahead of us. But one step at a time. I'm just going to say now, thank you in advance for every time that we ask for your help now through April 11th. Because I know that every time you can, you're going to say yes. Because you're in this with us. You're out in the cold with us. So with that, I say thank you so much. I just am so grateful to see all your amazing faces. And let's go into those warm buildings, have those conversations, and make this win happen. Woo!